guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel. Talk to myself at the channel. I'm your host Nick, and we back with another video today, guys. Gonna go over this uh, beautiful woman that died in Mexico. She was suspecting that her friends did it. Uh, it's, it's all over Twitter. I don't want to mispronounce her name, so let's go get into the news report. And then one of the friends that was on the trip uh, went on live. We're gonna go over that a little bit too. Uh, so let's just see what's going on. Family is trying to figure out what happened to their 25-year-old daughter. Chancola Robinson's parents say she took a trip to Mexico last month with a group of friends. Her friends made it back, but she didn't. They say she was found dead. They were told what happened, but they tell me tonight they're not buying it. My thing is, though, man, I, all my friends, I, I treat them like family, right? How would you just leave somebody's body like that? You know what I'm saying? If that's your friend or somebody you call, like, you know what I'm saying? Why would you, you know, this as a, this like a human being, decent human being, you know what I'm saying? Not try to, I mean, I say you got to stay or whatever, but, you know, doing your part to make sure that that person get home safe or make sure that person, how does she's the only one that's, you know what I'm saying? Even if it was alcohol poison, why y'all making a drink? Why y'all letting her drink that much? Hey, man, it's time to chill. Let's slow down. You know I just sit back and wait on God, because like I say, she's going to get justice. A mystery in Mexico. How did a weekend with friends turn into a nightmare? Man, something is not adding up right here. Bernard and Salamandra Robinson say their daughter, 25-year-old Shanquilla Robinson, traveled with friends from Charlotte to Cabo, Mexico on October the 28th. I spoke with her Friday evening. She was having dinner. And um, I never spoke with her again. The next day, their world changed. On Saturday evening, they called and said she wasn't feeling well. And they was going to call a doctor. I just, man, man, that shit, it's so sad because it sends like, these are, obviously she called them friends and they got to be super close enough for them going on a trip together and things like that. And for that to happen and then they all, you know, get somewhat of a plan together so they all get in trouble you know they all try to save themselves just show the selfishness selfishness of those people and but the when case. they called the doctor hadn't arrived yet but they said she had alcohol poison they say they were told their daughter died from alcohol poisoning but they don't believe that they say they've heard different stories and none of them add up we yeah. received the um autopsy uh, report on thursday and it said that her neck had been broke and she had a back spanica. What was crazy. it sounded like somebody physically hurt that woman, and everybody in the, in that in that room know what's going on, and nobody's saying anything. But that's that's sick, man. That's sick, man. That's sick. I understand being frustrated with somebody, hating somebody, getting mad at somebody on the trip, but physically hurting them to the point where they might die is. So Crazy that man. took it to a whole nother level. In a statement, the U.S. Department of State said, quote, We are aware of these reports. Protecting the welfare of U.S. citizens overseas is among our top priorities. Out of respect for the privacy of those involved, we have no further comment at this time. Shanquilla's body arrived back in Charlotte on Thursday. She had a heart of gold. You know what I'm saying? This is my thing on this take. You know what I'm saying? They say her neck was broken, spine was broken messed up and all that stuff there's no way man that you get that mad at somebody that you call a friend um and just let her die like that or if she had alcohol poison why nobody stop her from drinking so much you know what i'm saying if you're a real friend i'm if i'm a real friend like hey man you drinking that's that's enough let's let's slow down you know what i'm saying we want to have a little bit more fun we want you to be ready for tomorrow because if you're there for a weekend you know what i'm saying getting two drinks is crazy so let me this right here, let's go over this little part right here. Um, this is a guy that went on a trip, apparently. And so he's going to tell his side. Put it down below, and I'll see you same time, same place where I show my YouTube channel. Goddamn, have fun. I didn't have not one second of fun. And take one shot and smoke one blunt and didn't do anything. I went straight to Quilla. She was not found dead. She was found unresponsive. Yes, unresponsive. She if she's unresponsive, why nobody's calling the cops? You saying they like well, she was unresponsive? That somebody needs to call the cops. Hey, we need to get her. She's not responding as a friend. As a friend, yo, something's wrong. Let's help and get her to the hospital. Why is I trying to go to her? Unresponsive. I tried to get her to talk to me and all that, but it was. You're not you know, a doctor, bro. That, what you doing? It was none of that going on. Um, oh shit. Um. Yeah, but other than that, I did. Oh yeah, I know y'all probably asking that I don't know what in there. I didn't. Um. I didn't really notice the the knot on her head. 
it just looked like Arrow, it just looked like he's lying. You know what I'm saying? Like he just wanted those. Like, yeah, man. You know, you know, I didn't really see nothing. Da, 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 da. I don't know what's going on. Like he's trying to save himself because it just sounds like he don't like he know more than what he's telling. You know what I'm saying? The, the nurse pointed it out. I did see the the bump on her lip. Um, she had a she did have a a bug vessel busting her eye and. So y'all seen all that, and then y'all told that that lady, you told that woman, that girl's parents that she would have alcohol poisoning. And y'all see physical uh, bruises on her face, and you, and then y'all all you just decide, yeah, that's that's all cool. Come on, bro. And come on. Bro. That's it. But I didn't really go in there like, damn, y'all jumped her, y'all beat her ass. What's going on? Like, cause they know, man, and nobody even told me about nothing. I was blind to everything. I'm literally in there giving her. My all of that. Come on, girl. We is two thousand miles away from home. And y'all need to call her. Y'all need to figure out how to get that woman uh, to the hospital. That's what y'all need to figure out. You over there trying to be there? Why? If you not, if you not a doctor, bro. You know what I'm saying? Two thousand miles away from home. Don't nobody deserve this. Don't know. Damn. Fifty more questions. So bro, weird. why is y'all talking about a boy that y'all kill y'all friend? I wasn't there. I don't. I have those answers for you from Friday to three o'clock when I got to Cabo. I don't. I just don't have them answers. I posted my flight itinerary. It sounds like he know more than you telling. He ain't trying to tell nobody personally. That sounds crazy, bro. Like you find her unresponsive, and nobody said, "Let's call the hospital or whatever." I guess, man. I. I guess that's if y'all want to see the fight. There's I was just going through it. This is what the this is what we saw. Uh, I'm sorry, guys. Right here, it's like a part of the. They had a video of the fight. Somebody was videoing the fight. Oh wow. They have a video of the fight somewhere. Like here, I think it was the fight. It's on internet that shows 25 minutes. According to she went to celebrate. Oh, I can't look at the fight. Shaquella Robinson, Charlotte and... Hello, it's a new video, bro. Yep. And because... Anyway, but guys, this is... This is crazy, man. This is this is crazy. To me, this is a crazy, crazy, crazy like story. This is why I show you friends you pick and stuff like that, man. This to me, this is a crazy, crazy story, man. This why is the friends you hang out with? Why is the people that you really rocking with? Cause they don't be rocking with you like that. I don't know, guys. Tell me what you think about about this story. Uh, if you're new to the channel, please like, comment, subscribe, leave a comment down below. We on the road to 500, but I just want to share this, give some more light to this, cause this is a insane story. See you in the next one. Peace.